Hello. It's, uh, I don't know, mid-morning, I guess. And I'm, uh, up here in a maple tree. I was, uh, decided today to lose her leaves. Uh, it's not even particularly windy, so it must be something else in the ecology. It's a relationship to the weather, the sun, and the time it took for the chlorophyll to drain out. Don't know. But they've been yellowing and not dropping all so many. And then today, just, hey, time to drop the leaves. Actually, uh, maybe I have a compare because uh, maybe a week or so ago, we we're uh, beneath the same tree doing a uh, listening to the leaves above us and below us. Uh, meditation, Saki was walking around in the leaves with us. We could do the same meditation now with the leaves among us and the leaves below us. I'll give you a look at the ground. to climb up. It's the first time ever climbing in this tree, so thank you. I was just hearing a story that she was creaking in a special way the other day. I think uh, Sunday. Creaking in a way that sounded like baby raccoons. Squeaking, creaking. So I'm kind of looking at all the different shapes that I can see defined by the branches and how they connect. I can see a trapezoid and a triangle and a, a masculine triangle there and a feminine triangle there. And you can see these sort of char marks on the tree, which is what I'm calling them. You know, there's, it seems as if it's a sooty. Perhaps you can see the branch to one side is very covered so I'm just kind of up here getting to know this tree uh, from this height it's a little too high a height for me to be uh, completely relaxed <laughs> uh, with ease it could be something to work on but uh, I can feel a fair amount of movement in the tree uh, not particularly confident and comfortable in kind of moving around as we do the meditation because every foothold seems a little bit difficult but for similar reasons I'm not going to set the phone down to, to try and uh, uh, you know tripod and things I noticed this interesting crack in this little bit of trunk here. I don't know if I'm naming it that trunk, trunk or not, sorry. But here we are, above the yellow. Uh, we may have even discussed this, the yellow being this Stomach and spleen color puts me in that mind. But this meditation is just uh, to come into the presence of another. Uh, yesterday we did the com coming into the presence of self when we were in the bookstore and the, and the book filled library. Um, but this practice is coming into the presence of another. <coughs> And uh, one of the challenges to it is that as you start to recognize elements of that presence, you know, that personality, uh, 
you begin to name them, and then you begin to have opinions about those names. And then really, you're coming into relationship with your own prior thoughts, your own personality, your own opinions, your own language. Uh, and to come into presence of another, it can work to name, but the trouble is, uh, for most of us, naming is like that early part of the roller coaster. Click, 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 click. Now we're named, and this is the highest point of the roller coaster, and the rest of it is just gravity. And so, once we reach this point, that named, you know, oh, I know what that is. The diagnosis, that assessment, that naming. It's very hard not to take the rest of the ride. And so, while it's possible to name when you come into the presence of another, um, it'd be helpful not to name, just to take in. So, all those things I was doing, look at the yellow, look at the branches, look at the trapezoid, look at the crack, look at the char, uh, are generally click, 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 clicks. And that was take you somewhere else. Like I mentioned, the spleen, and as soon as I did, I'm like, oh, there's that spleen meditation, there's that stomach meditation, there's that spleen thing Rick told me once, and I could share that, I can get into that, and we can do that. That's all true, but it takes me out of the presence of this tree, which is the stated intention of the meditation. And so I'm going to try and come to know the tree with my senses, and allow that information from those senses not to enter the brain and it's, you know, ready-made uh, roller coaster. As fun as that may sound to you. And so, Daisy in the tree. Smelling the tree. I'm seeing the tree. I'll give you names since you may not see what I'm seeing, but I'm seeing seed pods, I'm seeing uh, broken branches, I'm seeing dried leaves, I'm seeing partly yellow leaves, I'm seeing green leaves, I'm seeing cracks and jar, notches. I'm seeing crotches of the tree. Hmm. So I've tasted, smelled. As we did a week ago in this space of this very tree, I'm going to listen. And because I consciously was listening to this tree very recently, I want to remind myself not to quickly start comparing. Now I'm on a roller coaster. I don't want to quickly start comparing what I hear now to what I heard later, or what I heard before. Listening to the tree.
Next, I'm going to touch the tree. Being careful not to just touch the tree. With the fingers. But I'm feeling it on my calf. I'm feeling it on my heel. I'm feeling it with my thumb. I'm feeling it with my naguan point. When we think of the sense of feeling, we often go right to the fingers. So that touch. So we've smelled and tasted, looked, touched, and listened. <clears throat> Another sense is to feel the tree. What does it feel like as a physical sensation? What does it feel like as an emotional sensation? And that might feel like sort of the atmosphere of the tree. It might feel like I'm in the tree. It might feel like the little wavering. I'm trying to just feel the tree without sort of putting it into one state of sense, you know, listening, feeling, tasting. I'm just trying to feel who this tree is. Who this tree is right now. Probably hear Iris whinnying in the background there. It sound like Kelly just got a phone call, so I might have heard that too. So I probably can't see Iris through the tree, but she's just there. So I think so we can let her phone call be private. I'll finish this on the off chance they say something private and I'm recording. Okay, so to the tree. Thank you to you. <laughs>